This is a demonstration of the Grasshopper framing tool for um, Cree project. The inputs are the number and the lengths of the framing elements and their uh, bearing capacity. You input the uh, lengths of the different framing elements in sliders so you can see that the framing adjusts based on the length. That's the depth of the floor and the framing spacing in the other direction. The orientation of the framing can be adjusted to um, minimize the amount of framing needed to support the floor plate. And you can see that some of the framing is missing. That's because there are maximum uh, numbers set for the uh, quantity of beams available so that there are elements, uh, parts of the volume that will not be framed until those um, elements become available uh, through the deconstruction program. So if we want to actually create the physical model of this framing system, we have to go back in the grasshopper and trim off the ends. And this takes a while because it's computing. So now, if we go into Grasshopper and make the geometry into Rhino, see what we created is the frame we needed for that volume. This is a demonstration of the script that computes the solar insulation on this algal surface, which generates the depth of the algal cloud above the buildings. The surface was already created using the uh, built height and then an offset to allow for light to penetrate beneath. Uh, the cloud structure is its integrity structure that climbs the vertical supports incrementally so that the surface will adjust um, to what's underneath uh, to the building heights below. If we adjust the sun angle, you can see that these red lines are changing based on the solar insulation on the surface at that exact point. It's comparing the angle of the normal, the normal vector of the surface to the angle of the sun. If we go into Grasshopper, we can capture the ends of all of these lines and then use the ends of these lines to generate a new surface, which is the top surface of the volume of the algal cloud. Once we have the top and the bottom surface of the algal cloud generated, we can section it to create a series of uh, fins, which will hold the algae. Um, the algae will flow through uh, tubes within these fins. Um, to support these fins using a tensegrity structure, which we can also generate in Grasshopper. You can see it's basically cutting up the fins into a series of increments and generating vertical struts at those increments and then diagonal tension members connecting the struts, to each strut to the struts around it, um, the lower point to the upper point, creating that um, adjustable rigid integrity, adjustable by varying the lengths of the, the um, compression members and tension members uh, so that this whole uh, volume can climb up as buildings grow beneath it. This is a diagram of the building growth and the algae structure uh, responding to the roof beneath it. You can see that it climbs as uh, structure grows up below and that the structure is based on a logic uh, with um, compressive material and then a uh, column or a uh, steel grid or steel frame. The compressive material transitions from a flat plane to a series of caves, then to a series of walls, and finally to towers. With each transition, the amount of 
uh, framing supported grows. Um, so you can see the number of frames growing and also the amount of available um, inhabitable space grows. So the structure grows only when there's a programmatic need, so it needs additional space, and also when there is framing available. These are a few of the variations on the climbing mechanism. Uh, each one represents a different idea on how the structure would climb. Um, some are based on inflation, some are based on uh, hydraulic struts. Um, these stick for all hydraulic action. You can see that some work better than others based on the way in which they respond to the sun. This is one of the climbing mechanism variations installed at the site. It's also diagrammatic in that it's not to scale, but it shows how the algae climbs as framing from surrounding buildings is assimilated into the structure and used to build below it.